Good day, everyone. I'm your math teacher, Mrs. Elizabeth P. Hinovia. So let's have now the module two for mathematics. Module two, solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of fractions using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools from uh, Mathematics 6, NS-1A-87.3. Yours truly, the creator and the author of this video. So let's begin. Our lesson is all about the activity A in your module. You can check that in your module. You have there, change the following set of fractions into equivalent fractions. So let's try one half. Okay. Get LCD first of 2 and 3. So why 2 and 3? Because uh, the partner fraction for 1 half is, has a denominator of 3. So let's have first the 1 half. Get the LCD for that numerator. Then divide denominator and multiply to the numerator. So let's begin with multiples of 2. As you can see, you have there denominator 2 for 1 half. So let's list down the multiples of 2. You have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? So these are the multiples of 2. Next, we have 2 thirds as the next fraction, partner of 1 half. So we have here the multiples of 3. Again, we will try to list down the multiples of 3. We have here 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Now, take a look at the denominator of 2 and 3, or multiples of 2 and 3. Now, choose a number that you can find the same number between 2 and 3, multiples of 2 and 3. So, as you can see, the only number that is the same between 2 and 3 is 6 as their common multiple. So, since we have 6... Our LCD now is 6. So let's make use of this 6 as our LCD or least common denominator. So let's place 6 here. Okay. So we have here 6. This is your denominator. So 6. Yan. Kita nyo. This is now your common denominator. 6. Divided by 2, you have there. Pila ka buok to na asa 6? Yes, correct. Tatlo. So, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Okay? So, makita niyo dito sa baba. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Then, times 1, multiply it by the numerator. So, 6 divided by 2 equals 3 times 1 equals 3. So, this is your answer. So, you have there 3 as your numerator. Okay? Next, for another fraction, we have here 6 divided by 3. Pila ka 3 na asa 6? Okay, dalawa. Correct. So, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Then, 2 times 2 equals 4. Okay? So, you have now the answer 4. Okay? So, this is now your equivalent fraction. For 1 half, the equivalent fraction of 1 half is 3, 6. For 2 third, your equivalent fraction is 4, 6. Now, let's take a look at how does 3, 6 and 4, 6 become an equivalent fraction of 1 half and 2 thirds. Okay, ganito yun. Let's check your answer using cross multiplication. Para malaman ninyo kung ang sagot ninyo sa equivalent fraction ay talagang equivalent fraction yan. At para malaman mo na tama yan. So, after writing your answer, let's say for example, the equivalent fraction of 1 half is 3 6. Para malaman mo na si 1 half at saka si 3 6 ay equal fractions or equivalent fractions. Check your answer using cross multiplication. So, you cross multiply. Okay? Ganito yun. You have here 1 half. Kita nyo? Okay? So,
So, paparisan natin siya kay 3 6 kasi si 3 6 yung equal equivalent fraction niya. Okay? So, 1 half and 3 6. Now, cross multiply. Paano yan? Okay, mul multiply 2 and 3. 2 times 3 equals, of course, the answer is 6. Then, 1 times 6, the answer is, correct, 6 pa rin. So, kapag nakita ninyo na ang sagot sa pag-cross multiply mo dyan, sa denominator at numerator, and then numerator times the denominator, kapag nakita niyo na ang sagot ay pariho, you have here the same answer, 6, therefore, your 3 6 is an equivalent fraction of 1 half. Okay? So, correct yan. Next, paano mo malaman na si 2 3rd and 4 6 are equal fractions? The same procedure. You are going to cross multiply your fraction and your new fraction. Okay, so tingnan natin si 2 3rd at saka si 4 6. Okay? So, you have 2 3rd. Nakikita nyo ba? And 4 6. Okay? So, cross multiply. Itong denominator na 3, multiply mo sa sa numerator na 4. So, have 3 times 4. The answer is? Okay, correct. 12. Then again, you cross multiply numerator 2 times denominator 6. Okay? So, 2 times 6. Anong sagot? Correct. 12 pa rin. Okay? Hindi makita kasi nandyan yung mukha ko. Natabunan siya. So, kapag ganyan ang nakikita ninyo sa pag-cross multiply ninyo sa dalawang fraction, ibig sabihin, tama yung inyong sagot. Okay? So, therefore, 4 6 is an equivalent fraction of 2 3rd or 4 6 is an equal fraction of 2 3rd. So, paano natin malaman? Hindi pwede na si 3 6 at si 4 6 equal fraction yun ha? Ang equivalent fraction, si 1 half at si 3 6 Ang equivalent fraction dito, si 2 3rd at saka si 4 6 Okay, kasi pag i-multiply mo yung 3 6 at 4 6, baka sabihin nyo si 3 6 at 4 6 yung equivalent fraction. Wrong. Kasi pag i-cross multiply natin silang dalawa, 3 times 6 equals 18. Di ba? 6 times 4 equals 24. So, 18 and 24, hindi sila magkapariho. Hindi kagaya dito. 6 pariho, 12 pariho ang sagot. So, pag ganun, hindi pariho ang sagot, ibig sabihin mali sila. Hindi sila equal fraction. Okay? Nag-gets niyo? Now, let's have another example. Change the following set of fractions into equivalent fractions. Now, you can create, pwede kayong gumawa ng sarili ninyo. You can create equivalent, <coughs> sorry, fraction by simply multiplying it with a whole number or we call it counting number. Now, decide what whole number you are going to use. Ikaw na bahala mag-isip kung ano yung numerong gagamitin mo. You can use 1 to 9. Hindi pwedeng 0 kasi any numbers multiplied to 0, ang sagot ay 0 talaga yon. So, hindi pwedeng gamitin yun. Now, for, for looking for or creating for equivalent fraction, hindi pwedeng gamitin niyo mo si 1. Kaya mo yung kag 2 times 1, 2 pa rin ang sagot. 3 times 1, 3 pa rin ang sagot. So, dapat yung sagot niya magbabago. Hindi siya uulit. Okay? Let's try. Example, you have here 1 half. Okay? So, let's try to get an equivalent fraction of 1 half by multiplying it with a whole number. Okay, ganito yun. So, 1 half and 2 fourth. How to make an equivalent fraction? You can choose a number from 2 to 9. Do not use 0 or 1. Okay? So, we have here 1 half. Sana nakita nyo yan. Okay, let's try sa ginawa ko. Meron akong pinili. Si 3 ang ginawa ko. So, 1, 2, hanggang 9. Pinili ko si 3. So, si 1 at saka si 2, yung nasa 1 half, i-multiply natin silang pareho sa 3. Okay? Para makuha natin yung unang, unang equivalent fraction ng 1 half. Okay? So, let's have this. 1 times 3, the answer is 3. Of course. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. So, 1 half is equivalent to 3. 6. Paano natin masigurado na equal fraction silang dalawa? So, ayun sa sinabi ko, cross multiply. Okay? So, paano i-cross multiply? Check your answer by 
cross multiplying the numerator and denominator if you get the same number so the equivalent fraction is correct so let's have cross multiplication 1 times 6 the answer is 6 2 times 3 the answer is 6 so kasi pareho sila ibig sabihin si 1 half at kasi 3 6 equal fraction sila pwede natin silang tawagin equivalent fraction na gets nyo now, tingnan natin si 3, 6 ulit. Let's make a series of, what you call that, series of equal fractions. Ha? Nagsimula tayo kay 1 half. Multiply nato sila pareho duha sa 3. So, nahimo siyang 3, 6. Ngayon, si 3, 6, we will make another whole number. We will multiply again 3, 6 to another whole number to make or create another equal fraction or equivalent fraction. Okay, so 3, 6 times, anong nandito? Times 4. So, si 3 at saka si 6, i-multiply natin pareho sa 4. Okay? Let's see. 3 times 4, you have 12. Okay? Then, 6 times 4, you have 24. Okay? Now, paano natin malaman na si 12 over 24 is an equivalent fraction of 3, 6? Okay? So, i-multiply natin. Cross-multiply. 6 times 12, the answer is? 72. Pareho sila. 3 times 24, the answer is 72. Pwede nyo gamitan ng calculator kung gusto ninyo para sigurado kayo sa sagot ninyo. Okay? So, kapag ganyan, nakita ninyo na pareho yung kanilang sagot, both numerator and denominator pag cross-multiply ninyo. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung ginawa ninyo kasi iisa lang ang numerong lumabas sa kanilang dalawa sa pag cross-multiply ninyo. So, ito yung isa sa mga paraan. Paano kayo kumuha at gumawa ng equivalent fraction. Okay? So, let's have 2 4. Sana nasundan, ha? 2 fourths. Paano natin gawan ng equal or equivalent fraction si 2 fourths? So, ito yon. Ang ginamit ko dito ay 2. So, i-multiply natin si 2 at saka si 4 sa whole number 2. Okay? 2 times 2, your answer is 4. 4 times 2, your answer is 8. Okay? Then, cross-multiply. Check your answer. Kung pariho ba ang sagot pag nag-cross-multiply ka. So, 4 times 4 equals 16. And 2 times 8, you have 16. Okay? So, the same. Therefore, pwede mo nang sabihin na si 4, 8 is an equivalent fraction of 2 fourths. Okay? So, equal fraction sila. Kasi pag nag-cross-multiply ka, pariho silang sagot. Next. Meron ako ditong 3. Si 4, 8, ginamitan natin ng uh, counting number 3. Okay? So, si 4 at saka si 8, i-multiply ulit natin sa 3. Para meron na naman tayong another equal fraction or equivalent fraction. So, 4 times 3, you have 12. 8 times 4, you have 24. Okay? Now, i-check ulit natin kung equal fraction ba talaga si 4, 8 at saka si 12 over 24. So, 8 times 12, the answer is 96. 4 times 24, the answer is 96 pa rin. Therefore, si 4, 8 and 12 over 24 is an equivalent fraction. Now, tanong, pwede bang maging equal Equivalent fraction si 2 fourth at saka si 12 24? Yes. Kapag i-multiply natin sila, pareho ang kanilang sagot. Okay? So, let's try. 2 fourth and 12 30, 24. So, multiply natin. 2 times 24, anong sagot? You have 40. Oh, calculator, gamitan nyo. So, you have there 24 times 2 or 2 times 24, you have 48. Correct. Tandaan nyo ha? 48 yung sagot. Now, try to multiply. 4 times 12. Pariho ba ang sagot? Makakuha pa rin ba kayo ng 48? 4 times 12. What is the answer? Correct. 48. So, therefore, kahit na nasa mataas na yung number or mataas na yung number dito sa fraction, kapag... Iparis mo siya doon sa pinakaunang fraction. 
Kung makukuha mo yung parihong sagot sa pag-cross multiply, equivalent fraction pa rin ang tawag doon. Okay? Sana nasundan ha. Halimbawa, ulit, dito sa 1 half. So, pwede bang sabihin natin si 1 half is an equivalent fraction of 12 over 24? Pwede. Okay? So, sabihin natin, i-multiply natin, 1 times 24, the answer is 24. Correct. I-multiply naman natin, 2 times 12. So, dalawang 12. Ilang sagot yon O anong sagot yon 24 pa rin, di ba? So, pareho silang sagot na 24. Ibig sabihin, si 1 half and 12 over 24 are both equal fraction or equivalent fraction. So, pinakita ko lang dito yung series of how to make or create an equivalent fraction para meron kayong uh, makita at para malaman ninyo na meron mga paraan kung paano pala nakuha at gumawa ng equivalent fraction maliban doon sa kanina. Okay? I hope Itong video na ito makatulong sa inyo for activity A sa module 2. Sana ulit-ulitin niyo para maintindihan niyo paano gumawa ng equivalent fraction. Okay? So, good luck for the activity A sa inyong module 2. And salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Just feel free, i-chat niyo lang ako kung may mga tanong kayo dyan, ha? Okay?